Yeah, it's, um, it's quite an interesting question from Caroline, and I know we've had it in the past as well. Um, I think that was one of the ones I, know I didn't get a chance to answer on my very first drive here. Um, Caroline's just saying she's heard about sort of walking past uh, leopard, and if you see leopard in the bush and if you don't look at it, then it will more than likely not do anything. Because uh, leopard, if you look at it straight in the eye, it, it tends to trigger them to charge at you. Because uh, obviously they've been spotted, whereas if you carry on walking by without sort of looking or if you sort of move away, um, then it doesn't feel threatened. It's obviously feeling like it's not been seen, so rather not have that confrontation. Um, the same sort of thing applies to a lion. If, if a lion's charging you, um, or if, if you see a lion, again, if you look at it stri straight in the eye, it is quite a threatening, a threatening uh, display. Um, but what was quite interesting is the lions enter Benny. Um, if you made, or if, if you had the lion coming towards you, uh, you had to keep eye contact with him uh, because that was actually, if you broke eye contact, that made him charge even more. Now uh, you're going to go and drink. I'm just seeing where the females have gone. Um, so as I say, it, it really does depend on the cats in the area. Um, as I say, we, we got to know the lions at Entebbeni very, very well. They were the only pride on Entebbeni, so they got to see the cars very regularly. And it could be that their behaviour changed slightly. But generally, as I say, if, you've, if you're making eye contact, it is fairly threatening. Looking like he wanted to drink, but 